Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I completed this sketchbook spread using a ballpoint pen to draw all these different portraits. And yeah, just sharing some tips and tricks. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, so here I'm just using an orange pen for the hair. Apologies, I forgot to film for the first half of this portrait. But as I'm finishing up, I'm layering on with a darker blue. And yeah, in the left hand side of this spread, I did all those portraits a couple days before and I decided to finish the spread off in this video. So here again for this next portrait, I'm just starting off with the circle for the cranium. And then the center line, this is a three quarter view of a portrait. And usually where the center line meets the circle, that's where the nose is. So that's where I'm just drawing this little circle. I use sort of a variation of the Loomis method by drawing a circle for the cranium and then drawing the center line and then drawing a horizontal line intersecting that for the eyebrows. But sometimes I won't always do all these steps in order or sometimes I'll just leave out some steps. So yeah, here is just me doing the basic sketch, and I think I have a pretty good sketch here now. Uh, yeah, so now I'm just gonna start adding more and more values. It's really important with pen, especially ballpoint pen, you just need to work in layers, light layers, to develop greater value, because if you go like too dark, then like, you can't really erase. This whole side section of her face is in shadow, so I'm just gonna draw a light line so I know where the shadows are. And now I'm just using light presser, pressure to hatch in that area and also cross hatch to add value. The best way I can describe cross hatching is by imagining you're scribbling on a piece of paper with pen, using that constant motion, but having a constant pressure, not changing very much. Now I'm gonna go in with this darker blue just to deepen up some values. At this point, the portrait was looking a little dull. I already had the highlights with the white of the paper and then the mid-tones with the light blue, but the deep shadows weren't really significant, so by adding in the darker blue, it just made those pop out. When it came time to drawing the hair, I first did a light base layer with the light blue and now I'm going in with the darker blue following the directions of the hair strands in the reference photo. When drawing hair, it's really important to just get the basic forms and values of the hair rather than getting each individual strand. Okay, going on to the next portrait. This is more of like a side view portrait, so yeah, let's do this. For this next portrait, again, I'm drawing a circle and then a center line 
but this time the center line was off to the side of that circle because the face was in a half turn. I do move quite fast in this video, so let me know if you want a separate tutorial on how I specifically draw the face. And now here I'm just mapping out the features with an orange pen. By the way, the materials that I used were this cheap ballpoint pen that I got for $1.50 from my local dollar store, and then also a white gel pen to erase any mistakes. Here for the hair, I'm just layering on some different shades of blue, red, and orange just to add some depth and dimension. Now with the dark blue, I'm very carefully adding in the shadows of the face for this portrait. In the reference photo, the girl had very dark black hair, but with the subtle highlights that I could see in the photo, I was really trying to push that and exaggerate them by adding greater highlights and deeper shadows. And now it's just really a constant process of layering on the colors, for each portrait, it took around 30 to like 45, 50 minutes for the bigger ones, but then later on, it took around like 5 to 10 minutes, not even, for the smaller portraits. So yeah, the time can really vary, but all that matters is that you take your time and just add up those layers to get lots of depth and dimension within the portrait. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it done for this portrait. I love the way it turned out, and yeah, let's move on to another one. This next portrait has a lot of shadows, so I'm just blocking that in with a yellow pen. It might seem contradictory, but uh, I'm just using a light pen, and then I'm gonna layer in with more and more colors. With this next portrait, I sort of wish I didn't use yellow because you can't really see me mapping out the sketch, but with this sketch, I really use the Loomis method because it helped a lot, and yeah. Now here, I'm just making the features more apparent by adding more pressure to the paper. Okay, I think I'm messing up a little bit with the proportions, but it's okay because this is a yellow pen, so I can always just layer over it. At this point, the portrait wasn't looking too promising, but I persevered, you guys, and later on I added a little bit of orange, and that really helped to bring out the shadows of the face. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with orange just to deepen up the values and to fix some of my mistakes on the face. <laughs> Cause yeah, it doesn't go, it doesn't always go as planned um, clearly, but yeah. Looking back on these portraits now, they don't look as bad as I thought they did at the time, but yeah, that's just what happens when you've been staring at the same sheet of paper for the past 
three hours at this point in drawing i think i was like two three hours in but yeah a couple more hours to go with this orange i made sure to just go over the shadowed areas and i love the way it turned out it sort of gave it a fiery aesthetic but yeah i was really looking for that contrast between the other blue portraits so yeah okay so i really want to add some dark blue to deepen this up but i already love the colors um so i think i'm gonna leave it as is and start on the next portrait now this next portrait i'm going in with green and i had this huge space to fill up in the top right corner so i decided to why not do a big portrait of a man which as you can see i don't normally draw males but yeah they are actually really fun to draw and i was super happy that i went outside of my comfort zone a little bit here i'm focusing more on the shadows before i'm doing the features um so yeah we'll see how that goes I decided to take a leap of faith and focus more on the forms of the shadows rather than doing the proportions first because in the reference photo there was very harsh lighting so it was very easy to map out where the shadows were thankfully but yeah now very carefully I'm doing the sketch of the face. I started doing ballpoint pen portraits this way a few years ago at least and the reason why I love ballpoint pen so much is because it's just really convenient and you really don't need that many materials to create a great piece of art. Out of all the portraits, this portrait took the most amount of time. I think it was like 45 minutes, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'd love to do a separate tutorial on this specific portrait going really in depth on how I drew every single feature. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments who this person is that I'm drawing because it is a very famous actor. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys can guess that, who, who this guy is um, because he's very famous. So hopefully I have the proportions right. <laughs> so yeah, this is a portrait of a very famous actor. I'll let you guys guess in the comments down below. He played in several Spider-Man movies, and the color green is honestly the biggest hint of them all. One thing that I recommend when doing like really harsh lighting portraits is just to squint your eyes to compare your reference photo to your drawing to just see the bigger shapes. Squinting your eyes really helps with that, so you don't have to focus too much on the details. In this video, I'm sharing many of my tips and tricks for ballpoint pen, but if you have any tips that I didn't mention, feel free to leave them in the comments below for other people to read as well. Here I'm just defining the shadowed areas now I'm taking my white gel pen just to bring back some highlights. Now that I'm actually doing it, I think like drawing the male face is like really fun because of all the different planes. Usually males have less body fat so you can see a whole a lot more planes in the face and it's super fun to shade in.
By planes, I mean a lot more angles, and yeah, it's just super fun to just add more and more dimension. But yeah, here you can see me just adding and adding and adding more and more layers. At this point, I've lost count at how many layers I've done. But yeah, ballpoint pen is really just about layers. Layers! Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers? You get it! We both have layers! Okay, I think that's good for this, this portrait. And yeah, let's move on to another one. Okay, so I just took a little break. But now that I come back to the portraits, I'm really happy that I decided to do this uh, bigger portrait here. Um, but yeah, I think I can get maybe at least like five more portraits in like one, two, three, four, five, maybe like some stuff up here or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe a lot more but we will see with the little awkward space in the dead center of the page i decided to squeeze in a small little portrait of a girl looking at the camera in a three-quarter view of her head I realized I made the lips a little too big, so I took my white gel pen and just started to go over that to make them a little bit smaller. Let me know down in the comments which one of these portraits is your favorite. I have several of my own that I personally love, but yeah, let me know your guys' opinion down below. For this portrait, I used yellow, red, and blue, which are all the primary colors. But in terms of shades and values, the yellow was the more on the lighter side of the midtones, and then the red was the midtone, and then the blue was the darkest shadow. Personally, I love to draw portraits because I find drawing the human face to be really interesting. But if you guys have any preferences of subjects that you like to draw, leave them down in the comments. Here for this next portrait, I used the color pink, but I realized that I was out of frame for basically the entire time I was drawing this portrait. Okay, I just did, oh, I just did a little portrait right there. <laughs> Both of these two little portraits took around 5 to 10 minutes, probably less. But yeah, they weren't that time consuming, and as you can see, they're pretty messy. Okay, that was a nice quick little portrait. Um, I think next I want to fill this little area up. Okay, this next one, I'm going to do the sketch in yellow again, just to be, just to be safe. <laughs> The good thing about using yellow or at least a lighter colored pen for the sketch is that if you make a mistake, you can always go over it. So yeah, here I'm just mapping out the features of the face and this woman had a very angular facial structure. Her face was very square shaped, so I thought it would be perfect to fit it in the little square shaped area in the corner this reference photo that I chose for this 
um, portrait. It has lots of color, like the lady is wearing bright, very bright orange eyeshadow and then a very bright orange red lip. So I will play around with that. With this portrait, I was just super excited to play around with the different color. The lady had bright red lipstick and then also very rosy cheeks and very orangey eyeshadow. So I was just really pushing the colors, trying to exaggerate them. And yeah, it was super fun. I totally recommend to just, even if a reference photo is, let's say, just the regular colors of a face, try to use maybe a limited color palette or use one color of a pen to limit yourself to only practicing the values of the portrait instead of the colors. In this way, you'll get a better understanding of how the facial planes work and the shadows and highlights of the face. But yeah, it's also just fun to play around with color sometimes, as you can see with this portrait. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite portraits out of this whole entire spread. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it for this drawing right here. I think I really like this one. I like all the different colors in it. Um, of course, like her hair is not blue, but it was like a light gray, so I added some blue values. Yeah, I like all the colors in this one. Um, hopefully, I can fit a couple more. There's some awkward spaces here and there, but. Hopefully, I can add a couple more. For these next couple of portraits, I was really just trying to fill in the blank space. As you can see, they're not really that well done, but this is a great exercise to just focus on the shadows of the face rather than all the different features. And here is the finished product. You in the B roll, 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 B roll. But yeah, that is it for today's video, and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe.